Hello everyone, welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the game between Cape Town and Pretoria and we have Nikhil Bhai with us today to give you his insights on the game and what he feels about the Cape Town track which seems to be getting difficult to bat in especially in the power plays. I think power play is very difficult for everyone, which is uh, hmm. again just a sign of things and also welcome change. I think last year or uh, the year before we saw too many good batting games. So personally, it's very good to see that the bowlers are back dominating. And because it is better to visualize when you know the conditions. Now, in one game, it's like that the conditions are exactly opposite to what we thought would be. Hmm. So in that sense, your base players are not changing, which is a good thing. So yes, combination you can try your own combination wherever you are comfortable. But I'll just say one thing, be fair in trying to be flexible. Yes, very important for that to happen. Don't get overawed or yeah. get a type of uh, role in your team. Now let's look at the venue conditions for this game. So venue conditions at Cape Town, typically we have seen that it's been difficult to bat on at the start, especially with the spinners playing a role in the power play here. So whether it's Fortin or whether it's Linda, all of them have come in and got some spin and we don't expect any difference. So whichever team is batting first, their power play batters is someone that you'll have to watch out for, whether it's keeping in your team or not captaining, vice captaining them. While on the other end, you can also probably back the guys who are likely to bowl in the power play for the team that's bowling first, especially the spinners. Nikhil Bhai, any thoughts there? And are, do you see it again getting easier to bat on and a good chase? Likely. Or may for the first time in this probably tournament, may kaunga, I'm not going to be worried about matchups much. Because people hmm. are getting out. Anybody is getting out to anyone as long as the bowling type is working. So I will take the Jones Lindner. Fortune को भी लूँगा जिनको जिनको आप ले सकते हो सबको ले लो जितने भी स्पिन ऑप्शन है क्योंकि चल रहा है बट रशीद खान नहीं चल रहा है सो व्हिच इज अ वेरी वियर्ड पोजीशन टू बी इन क्योंकि आप देखें दिस इज प्रोबब्ली वन ऑफ द फ्यू सच टूर्नामेंट्स जहां पे फिंगर स्पिन इतनी ज्यादा चल रही है पर लेग स्पिन इज नॉट डूइंग मच एंड आई थिंक अ लॉट इज आल्सो टू डू विद द वे रशीद इज परसीव एंड हाउ पीपल वांट टू प्ले हिम तो जैसे एक जनरल टेंडेंसी होती है कि वे हम रशीद को विकेट नहीं देंगे so, if you don't give a wicket, they will try and attack uh, George yeah. Linden and others. So, which I think is also why you see one of the reasons of benefiting that Ravada, hai, Archer, hai, in sab ke wickets eventually get to the audience with yeah, George Linden because they don't attack them. So, that so, is it's, it's just how the game is. Kya, you can take the best bowlers in the world, but it's the support bowlers who are taking the wickets are not the key ones. Yes, as much as a mental game that's played in the mind and yeah. uh, interestingly, Mr. Marco didn't even care about that. He hit rushes and he hit everyone else out of the attack. So, it will be interesting to see how this one goes. Now, let's yeah. look at the base team for this game. So, first up in the keeping section, we have gone with Phil Salt. Both Rolofsen and Rickleton have shown sparks of brilliance, but especially if they are batting first, then we are going to leave both and just go with Salt. While if they are chasing, then you can probably consider one of the keepers. Mm -hmm. While in the batting, we have gone with Will Jacks and Rassi. Again, the task is not going to be easy for Bruce because he's going to come up straight against Nokia. And yeah. Rasso has not been in any kind of touch, hence we have not considered him in the team for now. And again, for him, nor, nor will the task get easier for him because they have a escaped on have a line of quality bowlers. And will be interesting to see if Sam Curran is used against him because they've been hesitant to use Sam, but the left arm matchup should work against Rasso. While in the all rounders, we have backed Odin, Linda. Panel and Muthuswami. Nikhil Bhai, any thoughts on whether you would want to back Nisham, Sam, or you're happy to go with these four? Ideally, I would have loved to back Sam. Uh, mm. Personally, one of the few players that I love because I feel he can make an impact, but he looks down on confidence. It also has to do with the way he has been used, uh, I feel. So it's both ways. Form nahi hai, to use ka usage kam hai. Usage kam hai, to form wapis nahi hai. So you're mm. really uh, uh, that. Is, that. <laughs> yeah, so that is how the things have you know 
जैसे हमने कहा आई थिंक वन ऑफ द वेरी गुड मैचअप दैट आई एम वेरी इंटरेस्टेड टू सी इज गोइंग टू बी जॉर्ज लिंडे वर्सेज विल जैक्स एंड फिल सॉट तो नो मैटर वेन इट हैपन्स बैटिंग फर्स्ट और बैटिंग सेकेंड रात का गेम है फ्रॉम वॉट आई कैन सी ट्वेंटी वन हंड्रेड तो अगर चेज है तो भी आई एम इंटरेस्टेड टू सी हाउ दिस गोज बिकॉज हर चेज में भी आपने देखो एक विकेट गई है कायल मेज बाबा तो बिकेम द फर्स्ट गाय a uh, first player in t20s to get dismissed of the first ball and dismiss somebody of the very first ball so west indians are just made for such records and maybe so uh, just to just to give you much more context ke aisa nahi hai ki you can do a 10 11 or not 10 11 10-1 kind of combination ke bhai chasing team jeet rahi hai to aap waise nahi risk le pao kyunki ek do wicket ja rahi hai chase ke chase mein bhi aur jais ke ki team to bonus se zyada jeetne mein believe kar rahi hai pehle which is somehow they scraped through a win but they also lost a lot of wickets to ek opener chal raha hai ek opener nahi chal raha hai to wahan pe aapka visualization kaam aayega ke there is when you will have the values for nisham or sam karans kyunki they those two nisham jab bhi aaya his attack hmm. uh, beat unki so he attacked him for 3 sixes got out but he got you the points he had hmm. one game where he took three wickets to aise annual games aate hain unke ab उस दिन पे उनका बोलिंग अटैक कैसा जाता है उस पे इज बोथ निशम एंड सैम करन डिपेंडेड तो ये दो प्लेयर अभी दे देता हूँ मेरे ग्रैंडिक पिक से तो एंजॉय Yes, and uh, the main problem with backing such players in your base team, especially when there's sixth option, fifth options, is that if the other bowlers have a good day, then it's difficult for their chance to come. While on the day when any one of the bowlers has a bad day, they are the only other option. So it's like a slight catch twenty two situation there. So it depends on how you feel, not only how they will do, but how their other compatriots in the team will do. While in the bowling, we have gone with Nokia, Rabada. Rashid Khan and Jofra Archer so ne- taking no chances there especially with the Cape Town bowling even though Rashid has got hit in a few games last game he again bowled well against Butler and Miller i think he just considered 30 not and yet took a wicket so we're expecting that hopefully that bag of wickets come soon from him and this is what the setup of the team looks like finally we feel like raw pace should be able to trouble the cape town batting especially up top hence nokia is the captain while the vice captain stays at george linda for his power play bowling and two or three down wherever he comes into bat and nikhil bhai so can we play small leagues and mini gls then in this one now that the combination looks pretty settled yeah you can pretty much but the only the only concern here is going to be that uh, जैसा हमारा सेटअप है आप देखे टेकन लॉट ऑफ एम आई ऑप्शन विद द बॉल एंड यू टेकन द टॉप ऑर्डर तो दैट इज वेर यू हैव टू टेक अ कॉल कि इनमें से कौन कहाँ पे कैसे खेले और किसका आउट है तो इफ दैट विजुलाइजेशन इज सॉर्टेड एंड अगेन इन दोनों को लेने का कारण ये है कि इनके बाद बैटिंग ज्यादा है जो समथिंग दैट वी डिस्कस इन द पास्ट इज वेल कि रसो का फॉर्म नहीं चल रहा है तो गुड ऑप्शन टू ट्राई डैट वेल एंड अदर गाइज इफ यू फील दैट वर्क आउट तो इनफ ऑप्शन फॉर यू टू ट्राई एस एल मिनी जेल रिस्क लेवल तो देखो मीडियम ही रहेगा इस टूर्नामेंट में तो ये आई थिंक आप एस एल खेल सकते हो राइट प्लेटफॉर्म पर Yes absolutely so go ahead and join your small leagues right now app link is in the description and now let's look at our grand league options for this game Go for it sir now that you've already told us just summarize it and then I'll come to it count the mind Nahi dekho maine pehle hi kaha tha Sam Karan aur Jimmy Nisham they are best kind of options for you to try uh aisa har bar I don't see happening ki aap 19 से 6 बॉल में एंड यू आर नॉट बैकिंग सैम करे वर्ल्ड कप विनर वो ऐसे ही नहीं है ही वाज द वन हु लेड इंग्लैंड टू दैट टाइटल कंसिस्टेंटली अच्छा परफॉर्म करके तो आई थिंक एनी बैटेड एट 3 इयर्स वेल गॉट रन आउट इन अ वेरी नेव मैनर तो आई एम श्योर ही विल बी हर्टिंग एंड विल बी वांटिंग टू कम ऑफ इन दैट सेंस और रात की गेम में तो थोड़ा मैं स्विंग भी एक्सपेक्ट कर रहा हूं उनसे तो वैसे अर्ली मोमेंट अगर मिल जाए उनको दो विकेट ले ले पावर प्ले में तो आवर जॉब इज डन and the reverse or the converse is true also for nisham kyunki samne batting will bowling line up aisi hai i am expecting wickets to fall to main hope kar raha hu ki unki batting aa jani chahiye aur uh, bowling ka dekho unki aisa thoda usage ka issue rahega but uh, i don't think that is anything to do matlab usme aap zyada kuch control nahi kar paoge so i think is a handy option to try at least for grand leagues 
Yes, very fair calls and all rounders are always a bag of riches. So you should try them out. Yeah. My grand league options for this game from Pretoria is Riley Rasso. We know that his only left arm matchup is not uh, great on form either, nor is he. But I feel like on this ground he's gonna come in. He might end up coming in early, especially if a wicket falls out early, which would mean he'll get some time to settle in and be able to play a knock. That is if he wants to settle in. So yes, that would be the first choice. If he, I feel like he's that kind of guy that ek bar with us pehle add us ball if he plays, then he'll he'll feast in, and I'm hoping that he takes that time. And my pick from Cape Town. I was slightly confused on this one, but I'm going to continue to back Devil Brewers because again the matchup is just one. It's only the high pace matchup against Nokia. I don't think that Panel should cause that many issues to him because he we've seen that with the kind of matchups he has, they're the ones where when the ball is at a good length, he's crammed for room and unable to play. While Panel does tend to give that odd ball outside, and once he gets that, I think he'll be able to settle in. So. Yes, the two matchups. So keep those in mind. If you're backing Nokia, then don't back Drew, especially if you feel like he'll come in early. But if you feel like it'll be Panel and Bosch to start up, then Bruce has the time to settle in. Bilkul, Nico, uh, always back your visualization. That's all the game is about. Yes, absolutely. So go for it. Have a great game. Enjoy. You tell us in the comments too who your expected Grand League picks for this game are. And have a great one. Smash the like button and all the good luck. Yes, please share the corner if you like it. Thank you so much for tuning in.